In the last few lectures, we understood the terms chromosome, chromatid and sister chromatids. We have also covered the cell cycle and interphase in detail. We now understand that a cell prepares itself for the cell division. This preparation involves two major events, the cell growth and duplication of its chromosomes. All this preparation takes place in the interphase of the cell cycle. Once the cell is ready, it enters the M phase. Recall that mitosis is the process of cell division in which the duplicated chromosomes of a cell are separated into two nuclei. Suppose this is the cell at the end of interphase. For our illustration, we are showing only two duplicated chromosomes. Once this cell enters mitosis, the sister chromatids of each chromosome will separate and get equally distributed into nuclei. Now the question here is, how these sister chromatids get separated? The answer is mitotic spindle. The mitotic spindle is, a structure in the cell that is responsible for, organizing and, sorting of chromosomes during cell division. It is made up of microtubules centrioles and centrosomes in animal cells. We will start our lecture from finding out what are microtubules, what are centrosomes and centrioles, and how they form the final structure of mitotic spindle that results in chromosome sorting during cell division. Let's begin. Every cell has its own structural framework. It is made up of minute, fibrous, protein filaments. This structural framework of the cell is known as cytoskeleton. There are three families of protein filaments that together form the cytoskeleton of the cell. These are actin filaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules. Actin filaments determine the shape of the cell's surface. As we will see later, these filaments play important role in the cytokinesis of animal cells. Intermediate filaments provide mechanical strength to the cell. Microtubules direct intracellular transport. They also determine the positions of cell organelles. And, most importantly they form the mitotic spindle. So, we can say that mitotic spindle is actually made up of microtubules. Let's understand this in more detail. Microtubules are hollow tubular structures that are assembled from the protein tubulin. They are made up of 13 protofilaments. These protofilaments align side by side in a circular pattern to form a single microtubule. Each protofilament is a linear polymer of tubulin dimer. And, this dimer is made up of alpha tubulin and beta tubulin. The arrangement of the 13 protofilaments in a microtubule is such that one end of this microtubule is terminated by a row of alpha tubulin subunits and the opposite end is terminated by a row of beta tubulin subunits. The end of microtubule having beta tubulin subunits is known as the plus end and the other end having alpha tubulin subunits is called the minus end. Now what does the designation plus and minus means here? Microtubule can grow in length by adding more tubulin dimers. Also they can disassemble by losing tubulin dimers. Thus, the ends of microtubules can grow and shrink. Plus designation tells that, the accumulation and, release of tubulin dimers at the plus end is much higher, relative to the minus end. Microtubules grow out from a specific intracellular location. This intracellular location is known as the microtubule organizing center. Microtubule organizing center is well defined in animal cells. There is a single such center in animal cells, and it is located near the nucleus. This microtubule organizing center in animal cells is known as centrosome. If we zoom in, we will find that this centrosome consists of an amorphous matrix of fibrous proteins. 
and this matrix is organized by a pair of centrioles. Centrioles are cylindrical structures present or embedded in the centrosome. Centrioles are also made up of microtubules. Each centriole is composed of nine sets of triplet microtubules, arranged in a ring. These two centrioles are arranged at right angles to each other. From the centrosome, microtubules grow out. The minor ends of all microtubules are embedded in the centrosome. And, the plus ends point outward. The plus ends are free in the cytoplasm. The centrosome duplicates when the cell enters the cell cycle. When the cell reaches mitosis there are two centrosomes. Let's understand how this duplication of centrosomes takes place. This is our cell with single centrosome. When the cell enters cell cycle, the two centrioles of the pair separate during the G1 phase of interphase. Centrosome duplication begins in the S phase. The two centrioles separate and, each centriole is duplicated. So, we have now two pairs of centrioles, each containing one mother and one daughter centriole. The two pairs of centrioles remain together at one side of the nucleus, until the cell enters mitosis. The centriole pairs start to separate when the cell enters their mitosis or M phase. And as two centriole pair move apart, the spindle begins to form. The microtubules start to grow out of the separating centrosomes. At the middle of the process of mitosis, the two centrosomes are at the opposite ends of the cell. These centrosomes now are the two spindle poles. Microtubules radiate outward from centrosomes in all directions. These microtubules forming the structure of mitotic spindle are further of three main types. The first type of microtubules is known as astral microtubules. Astral microtubules radiate outward from each spindle pole and contact the outer side or cortex of the cell. These microtubules help to position the spindle in the cell. The second type of microtubules are known as interpolar microtubules. As you can see in the image, the plus ends of some microtubules are overlapping with the plus ends of microtubules from the other pole. These microtubules, overlapping with each other in the midzone of spindle are called, the interpolar microtubules. The third type of microtubules are known as, the kinetochore microtubules. These are most important one because, these are the microtubules whose plus ends, are attached to sister chromatids of a chromosome. The plus ends of these microtubules are attached to these sister chromatids at the centromere region. Two large, protein structures are present at the centromere, at the side of each sister chromatid. These structures are called kinetochores. The microtubules actually get attached to these kinetochores. Therefore, these microtubules are known as, kinetochore microtubules. That's all in today's video lecture. I hope you have now a clear idea about the mitotic spindle. This concept will help us in understanding the detailed process of mitosis in our next lecture. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.